Hey everybody, it's Haloman27, and I am back for episode 25 of Minecraft. In this episode, I have collected all my nine ender pearls, as you can see right there. And I am going to go to the end. And there is an extremely well-timed thunderstorm going on in my Minecraft, um, which I find hilarious, because... It's a thunderstorm right when I'm going to the end. <laughs> I don't know. That just seemed cool to me. Um, so I'm going to run all the way over there, and I'm going to totally disregard all of the enemies on the way. I may be completely underprepared, but I don't even care. <laughs> like, I'm going to do it. This going to go down. Um, like I mentioned way, way back, I've never actually fought the Ender Dragon. So, I am going in, and I do know, like, a decent amount about the fight. Like, I'm not going in completely blind. I have understanding of what I am expecting. But, I haven't actually done it. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't die horribly. Unless maybe you guys are hoping I die horribly, which... Well, whatever, to each their own, you jerks. But... It's going to go down. Also, my freaking game keeps having a herp. So I'm going to turn this back to there. Which it was originally. But then, uh, yeah. First, I just need to make the long trek through the thunderstorm over to my stronghold. Which, to be fair, I'm already, like, most of the way there. But I spent... Well, not really that long. I'm, it's still the same day as I recorded the previous episode. I basically just, like, sat around in the desert and waited and killed Enderman. <laughs> um, I probably don't have enough arrows for the Ender Dragon, quite frankly. But I'm going to try it anyway. Um, also, my enchantments and stuff were kind of lackluster because I didn't really, like, you know, set up the whole base and stuff to get, like, high-level enchant- Oh, huh. Enderman. Heh. <laughs> Funny. Um, I didn't set up, like, a whole base and stuff to try and get, like, high-level enchantments. But things are at least a little bit enchanted, so hopefully I won't just get, like, killed in one hit and then be sad. But you never know. I, I won't really know until I try, so... Might as well just get in there and do it. Heyo. But, yeah. Here goes, descending into the stronghold. And I'll quickly, like, stop and fill my hunger before I go into the end. Before I, like, go kill myself. But, I just need to... Hey! Dick! 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 Dick. Okay. So, off to a great start, obviously. <laughs> Didn't even make it to the portal, and then I got knocked off, and now I have to climb back up out of this hole. That's funny, but stupid at the same time. And now, I don't actually have, like, any building blocks. That's a thing that I should have grabbed, but didn't. But, oh well, here goes. There's the end portal. Time to place my Eye of Enders. And then, let's see if I can do... I'm just going to give myself half a second to heal up. And also make sure my food is at max. Oh man, it's so intense. In case you were wondering, silverfish? Well, okay, was not prepared. Silverfish just hit me into the ender portal. So that was a thing. Um... <laughs> Do you mind? That was really loud, you dicks. Did I anger that guy? Oh, wow, I must have angered like a number of guys. That's no good. Optimally, I would not have done that. Oh, there's the Ender Dragon's health bar, though. Oh, did he just fly through the ground and hurt me? What the dick? That's not even fair. Come on, game. <laughs> Give me a chance! Okay, I need to get out of this. Out of this here ground. Um, from what I understand, he's actually not that difficult. 
Um, or so I have been told by people in the past. So hopefully that turns out to be true, and I don't get absolutely, like, raffle dunked. But, hey, here goes. I do know that I have to destroy these. And if I don't miss, that would be great. Now, where you at, bro? This is cool. I like this area already. The end. Hmm. I don't like how my portal's kind of, like, off on the side, but, like, I can't really complain. That's just how it is. Um, now, I just climbed up one of these towers, which I immediately regret, because this is going to explode when I shoot it. Um but it'll at least give me a chance to shoot the other ones. And I didn't actually take that much damage from it, so that's cool. Let's see. And actually, the Ender Dragon has not really cared about me thus far. What happened to him? Did he fly out the bottom of the world? Is that possible? I somehow doubt it. But... Okay, I get it. You make loud noises. Where's, where is the Ender Dragon? <laughs> I don't understand. You already hit me when you flew through the ground, so I know you exist. Dragon, please. We can't have our duel if you just decide not to exist. Come on. What the dick? <laughs> I'm so confused. Where are you? Is it even possible for you to like kill yourself? And like just fall out of the world? What would that do? Would I just not have a portal back? Like I don't understand. And our dragon. Uh, I also really wanted to bring a pumpkin. Because that way I could... Uh, like, make a little base, or, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to say, make a way to not, like, get killed by all the Endermen, but so long as I just do my best to avoid looking at them, I should be alright. Hopefully I don't, like, hardcore flub. Oh, there we go, there's the Ender Dragon. Come back this way. I see your health bar, and I am afraid. Oh. What the dick, man? Why don't you care about me? <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> I'm in your area! Heyo. Ender Dragon! What the dick? I've only seen him like twice, and one time wasn't even fair because I was underground. Maybe I'm like hoping for him to show his face, but then he'll finally like show up and then I'll just begin to cry. Or maybe I just haven't like properly engaged him yet. Where are you? Like, actually, though. I don't understand. <laughs> At least I'm shooting those things alright. I'm not, like, horribly missing every time. Oh, there he is. Come on, guy. Don't you want to did it do the duel? Those things actually shoot decently far. Or the uh the healing things heal him from a decent distance away. Okay. I'm now wasting arrows because I am not hitting him. Please, game! Like, what the dick? I don't understand! Oh, 
Oh! I think he just swooped at me. This one right here seems to be kind of the biggest issue. If I can shoot it. There we go. Oh! Okay. So some damage has been done. Are you gonna allow me to do more damage? Is there another healing thing over here that's gonna make me never be able to kill you? do I have? Not very many! Okay, that's... That's fun. But I did bring at least a potion of strength, so... Come on, Ender Dragon, please! I don't know if this will even... I'm just wasting arrows by shooting all of these at him when he is not even, like, remotely close to me. I should just use these last arrows to try and kill, like... I don't even know! <laughs> like, come on, guy! Do you want to fight? <laughs> like, is this a thing? Do I get to battle you? Is that the point? Calm down! Okay, well that thing's just gonna heal him now. So that's dumb. I don't... <laughs> Ender Dragon, please! I might as well kill these last couple, like, healing relics, because they're just gonna be annoying if I don't. But... Oh. Well, it looked like he was coming over to me again. But... I'm seriously so confused. I expected this fight to be, like, super intense, and I expected him to be, like, all up in my face constantly, and... Okay, there's that. Got that one. Is there just the one other one? Wow, I have, like, no arrows left. I was at least expecting... I don't know, my arrows to last longer than this. I have seven. I think I only have one of the healing things left to kill. Um, but obviously he has full health because like, I haven't actually had a chance to shoot him at all. But I don't even... I, I just don't... There's just no words. Om nom nom carrots. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, I don't even know where he is half the time, although the end is a lot bigger than I expected. Okay, I think I killed all of them. Um, I think that just used... yeah. Okay, now I should be able to do some damage to him and not have to worry about him just, like, healing it back. Also, now I'm kind of wondering if I should be more conservative of freaking using my food, because at this rate, I'll, he'll just have me starve to death. Like... Oh, wow. He just hit a bunch of Endermen, so now they're, like, mad at him. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> okay, my arrows do decent damage. I don't really... I have, like, none left, though, so that's an issue. Um, but I just need him to actually, like, try to fly at me. Ender Dragon. And then, after that, I guess I'll just have to use the sword. Am 
Like, if it has to be, it has to be. But I would prefer to not have to, but... Well, I should have prepared more if I wanted to not have to. Like, quite frankly, I did this to myself and no one else. So, at least he doesn't really do that much damage to me, because I am not playing on hard mode because I'm bad, and I've never freaking beaten him before, which I've said a million times. Um, but... I'll actually use my Potion of Strength, my second one, because that way I can do a little bit more damage to him. If he ever comes down to me, come on, man! But, now I can agree, maybe it's just because I'm playing on normal, maybe hard mode would be like a way different experience, but I can definitely agree with my friend who said this was really easy. Like, there's... there's no other word for this. <laughs> he doesn't ever attack me, uh, from... What I understand in the Xbox version, he does have like a projectile he can shoot, which if that was the case, I imagine this would be considerably more difficult, but since he's not doing anything other than flying around and occasionally flying up to me, like with my armor, I take like a heart and a half of damage and then I heal it off before he comes back, so... Okay, he didn't even swoop near me that time. Ender Dragon, please. Come on. I expect better from you. <laughs> You're supposed to be a boss. I guarantee the wither's not this easy. Do better. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh, swooping. And I can only get to hit him one time every time he swoops down at me. So that's kind of, like, unfortunate. Also, my strength, too, is about to wear off. So, come on! Like, I'm gonna do less damage, so that's lame, but whatever. At least I'll kill him with my sword, so that's cool to me, because I named it, and it's special. Swoop down, you idiot! Come on! If I was playing as the Ender Dragon, I feel like I would be doing better than he is right now. There you go! You're swooping! Near me! Not even directly at me! You only hit me because I run directly up to you to try and smack you with a sword. Okay. Oh. Oh wow, that time he hit me twice without me getting to hit him. I'm impressed! You stepped up your game! This is like, a big deal for you. <laughs> There you go. Now he's actually hit me a couple times. I'm not at full hearts. This is amazing. Good work, Ender Dragon. You're really, like, pulling together. And I just totally whiffed that time, but it's okay, because at least now I have time to heal more. Because I would be so ashamed if I somehow managed to let myself die after, like, hating on how bad he is. Like, that would just be super, super sad. Um, from what I understand, if you hit him in the face, you do more damage, but... I don't even understand what just happened now. I feel like I just, like, attacked his face, and then nothing happened, and then... Like, he flew through me, and... My character just disregarded damage because they didn't feel like it. Oh! Okay, he hit me that time. This fight! I wish I had a bow, because it would be so much more interesting. Like, if I had a bow with the infinity en enchantment, I would at least be, like, shooting at him while he's in the air and stuff like that. But... This whole Let's Play was leading up to this. I hope you're freaking happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, talk about anticlimactic. I don't know, maybe he'll get super intense when he has no health left. But he can't heal anymore. And, like... I don't know. I expected more, Ender Dragon. I expected more. <laughs> Just fly at me so he could get this over with. From what I understand, he drops a crap ton of experience. Um, I can't remember. Like, it gets you into, like, the 70s for level. So that's pretty cool. Um, I heard that there's actually a way to do it where if you bring, like, bookshelves and an enchanting table and books and stuff, you can set them up and then, like, get a bunch of max level enchantments just by standing there and enchanting as you're picking up the experience from him. And then you'll be able to get, like, a ton of those enchantments rather than just two from leveling up to 70-whatever. Which, that would be pretty sweet, but I did not bring that. As you can see, I did bring a piston and a torch, though, because 
I know that you can pick up the, like, the Ender Dragon egg if you bring a piston, which, that's cool, and I'll probably put it as, like, a trophy in my house. But for now, I just need to freaking wait for him to get out of the sky. Ender Dragon, please! Come on! I love how many Endermen, or at least, I love how that one Enderman is just, like, following him around as he flies. You didn't even swoop at me! Who are you doing battle with? Is, like, there a freaking other person here that I'm unaware of? Like, come on, man! There's actually considerably less Endermen than I thought, though, so that's kind of nice, because I was scared that I would just, like, anger a million of them and they would kill me. Um, but they don't seem to be doing that. Are you gonna swoop? He looks pretty cool, though. Oh, oh, swoop, or don't. You were doing so well for a while. Like, you actually got me down to six hearts. I was so impressed. And now you've turned to this, where you're just flying around, doing nothing. At all. Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. There you go. You swooped at me one more time. You did your heart and a half of damage. Just a couple more, and then this stupid fight will be over with. I definitely think the, like, Xbox one would be a lot more interesting with him shooting fireballs, especially if you had a, uh, like, had a bow. Um, obviously, a lot of people recommend probably coming in more prepared than this if you want to have, like, an efficient, like, kill him really fast fight, which I obviously did not because the fight's still going and I have, like, no crap. Um, but, wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Ender Dragon! Come on, man! Oh! Oh! I wish I could hit him more than once. It makes me very sad that I can't. Oh, wow. What the heck? That was odd. He just did, like, a drive-by, and he totally missed. And I also totally missed, so we just kind of, like, had a awkward stare-each-other-in-the-eyes moment. The sky looks really cool, though. And he, his face looks so happy. <laughs> like when he's flying straight towards you, he looks like he's smiling, and that's amazing. <laughs> Come on, little Ender Dragon. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. He's so happy. And he's another carrot. So close. Come on. Oh. Oh. I seriously find that so funny, where the Enderman is just, like, chasing him around. Uh, it hasn't done a single thing to the dragon, like, at all. But, ah, oh, come on, please. Imagine if the Enderman got the kill. That would be so funny. It's like, I do all this work, Enderman just runs up like, BAF! KS! What the dick? Come on, man! Ender Dragon, please! Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, the final showdown. Got him! Ah! Oh. Celebratory carrot nom. And there we go. So that's the Ender Dragon. Um, I'll just pick up all this experience, because, quite frankly, I'm far too lazy to, like, actually bring in other stuff, and, you know... But, I will do this. I will grab myself this Ender Dragon Egg. Because I find that interesting that you can do this. Because if you break it, fun fact, it just like... Did it really? Um, if you break it, it just kind of like falls. Um, I better be able to pick that up. Or else I'm going to be very upset. Actually, I could probably... I wonder, if I just, like, dig under here, will it fall out? Okay, maybe not. 
Um, Geronimo. I will be so angry if I did not just get that Ender Dragon egg. But here are the Minecraft credits. Um, they play without sound. I apparently, and they go on forever. Like, I'm talking forever. They are skippable though, so that's at least cool. Um, what? What is this? What is this text? What? What? What does it mean? This text is all new to me. It, I'm reading their thoughts as if they were words on a screen. I'm so confused. <laughs> how did I... How did that Ender Dragon egg, like, fall into the portal? I'm gonna be so mad if I can't get it. Like, I don't think anyone comprehends how unhappy I will be if I do not get that Ender Dragon egg. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. What? <laughs> I cannot, it cannot read that thought. You're right. Hmm. I'm just making like little grunting noises. I guess in the credits, this is the part of the Let's Play where you kind of reflect. So I might as well kind of do so. I liked the Minecraft Let's Play. I've never killed the Ender Dragon before, so that was in fact my first time. It was also my first time going to the end. Um, like I've said before, this Let's Play is not completely over. It will not be the main focus of my channel after this episode, but it'll still continue. Um, but... I don't know. It was pretty sweet. I have that little village. I found an awesome place for my house. Um, I had the derpiest fight of all time with the Ender Dragon where I did not bring nearly enough arrows and then it just herped a derp and I was like, what? Um, but yeah, good times. Um, what is this text even supposed to mean? <laughs> I, I don't understand the story that Mojang is trying to tell me. <laughs> like, the player is growing restless. I guess that's true. I am sitting here, watching text scroll extremely slowly. <laughs> and desperately hoping I have my freaking Ender Dragon Egg, because if I don't I'm gonna be really, really, really upset. Hmm. Hmm. Give it a body again. Like my player? Use its name. Use my name. Halo Man 27, player of games. Good. I agree, blue text. I agree. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm, like, coming back into the... I'm so confused. We were once called the spirit of the mountain, father, son, mother, moon, ancestral spirits, and animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, the... then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw a light on you? To see you, player. To know you. And to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you! <laughs> I don't understand. Um. 
So are they talking about, like, real... I don't understand. Like, this text makes so little sense to me. It's like they're talking about your Minecraft character, but... I don't know, this kind of feels unnecessary, but I knew this was going to be here. I just didn't actually know what the text said, because I've never read it before. Um, maybe you guys are reading it right now, and you guys are sitting there like, Wow, this is dumb! Or, Wow, this is the greatest, most philosophical thing of all time! And I'm like, Okay, I just want my ender egg! That's... That's all! <laughs> I don't even understand. Green text and blue text? What are you? <laughs> Get out of here! The woman assembled the player in her body, da. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of the mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in, letter, letter, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. Seven billion, billion, billion atoms of the player's body, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually not interested in this at all, to be quite frank. But at the same time, it's like, I want to keep reading it, but I don't. A man called Julian, created by a man called Marcus, I know who that is. He made Minecraft. Haha. -ha. Hmm. You are the player reading words. That is, in fact, true. They keep telling me true statements, and that excites me every time. I honestly, like, why? <laughs> this lasts so long. If it could at least, like, scroll faster, or, like, something, I don't know, because it's really, really slow. <laughs> then again, I also read pretty quickly. So, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe other people are like, this is the perfect scrolling speed for me to be able to read all of this. And maybe other people are like, I've beaten this game a million times, I've already skipped this, because you can press escape and not read it. But I have to see it, because it's here, and I haven't seen it before. But I guess I shouldn't complain that it's taking too long. If the universe said it loves me... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And the universe said I've played the game well. And the universe said everything I need is within me. And the universe said that I'm stronger than I know. And the universe said it believes in the me that believes in me. And the universe said I am the daylight and I am the night. And my drill is the drill that will pierce the heavens because I'm starting to make Gurren Lagon references now. And the universe said the light you seek is within you. I think you already said that. The universe said you're not alone. And the universe said you are not separate from every other thing. What? <laughs> and the universe said you are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said it loves me again because I am love itself. I did... <laughs> And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream, and the player began a new dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better, and the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. You are all those things. Wake up. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, I have the best wife in the universe kick. Because... Equal signs. <laughs> Minecraft credits! Okay, we're actually at that point. Is it gonna just say Marcus Pearson? And then that's it? And then be done? Marcus Pearson. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, they already had Mojang at this point. So I guess they have to like include Jeb and all those other guys. Game design, programming, and graphics. Pro... You know those movies and stuff where the credits go, like, way too fast so you can't read them at all? This is, like, the opposite of that. They go, like, way slow, so you pretty much have to read them, like, a million times. In-game artwork and paintings. Christopher Zetterstrand. 
End game narrative. Julian, go. Congratulations, Julian. You did this. You made all of this happen. I can't even read that name, because I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that O letter. <sighs> Either way, though, that was my first time killing the Ender Dragon. I'm kind of happy about it. I'm kind of disappointed by how anticlimactic the fight was, and I really wish I had brought more arrows, because that way I could have just, like, shot his freaking face off, because that would have been cool. Um, had I just, like, dunked him in, like, five seconds. Uh, I'm still really worried about the whole, I don't know where the, like, Ender Dragon egg went. I don't know if I'll just, like, have it once I get back, or if it'll just be gone forever. If it is gone forever, um, I don't even know. Like, quite frankly, I don't even know what I will do about that. Elliot Hippoplatamus Seagull. <laughs> or Seagull. Like Jason Seagull? Huh? He's pretty cool. I've watched How I Met Your Mother. It's pretty good. You should watch it. Also, Journey. Play it. Because technologies used. Java by Oracle. LWJGL by Many Talented People. 3D Sound System by Paul Lamb. Jorbis by Jcraft. Cool. I like how the background is dirt, because that makes me feel better about making all those Gurren Lagann references, because it's dirt, and you drill, and stuff. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the ones you did do. So throw off the blow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover, quote by unknown, because they're actually quoting themselves, but they want to sound smarter, so they don't want to say they're quoting themselves. That's probably not true, but that's the story I'm going with. I did it, and then it fades to black. What happens now? Whoa, what the dick? Are you kidding me? This is unacceptable. I need to go back. But I don't... I, <laughs> achievements. What do I have to do? Discover all biomes. Spawn the wither. Kill the wither. The Beaconator is for making a full power beacon, I think. So I don't actually have that many achievements left. But regardless, that is the end of the Minecraft Let's Play for the main portion of it. There will be more stuff, like I've said a million times, but that is for a different day. So this has been Haloman27. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Side note, the Ender Dragon Egg falling into the Ender Portal or the overworld portal made it impossible to retrieve, so I used creative to give it to me because I deserve to have my defeated the ender dragon trophy, thank you very much. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>